Hello and welcome back to more Storybook Brawl. As far as I'm aware, I'm undefeated on this new patch. I think I've played two matches and won both of them, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but anyway, we're doing quite well. And what do we want to take here? We're going to try and just rank up to 4k. That's, that's our objective, because last time we barely missed it. I just don't play a lot, so when I do play, I like need to maximize my win rate. Um, so what hero do I think has the highest chance of winning? I'm actually quite a fan of new Geppetto, especially in the early turns. If you can just get one black cat, it becomes, I think, five, five worth of stats. So I like that. Snow Angel is also interesting. I don't like being limited just to good heroes, though. Um, Mordrin and Curse King are also pretty good. Curse King actually maybe would be a better pick here. Interesting. I could take double Fanny. Um, which will be, like, not particularly good with Geppetto's ability, but she is okay. Um, she can be a trap, though, and Kitty Cut Purse is interesting. I think we're just gonna take the cat here. And I'm not gonna lock for the Genie's Wish Fanny, because I think you do want Genie's Wish normally, but you don't really want Fanny. She's fine. I don't know. It, it, maybe two of them is worth going for, but if I get a slate, no. Oh man, if I'd gotten a slay there, that'd be huge. Also, it's bad news because they have the cat, so there's like one viewer that we could have. Um, so if we had taken Fanny, I guess we would have logged for Fanny, but Crafty's alright. We can take Cinderella and then sell the kitty cut first to get this guy. So we have a 2-5. Um... I could lock for Sugar and Spice to trigger Cinderella. But then I'm like buffing this and on turn... The third turn you really just want to buy two characters. Plus we could get a zero cost spell like free roll, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I think it's better to wait. Oof, that dragon was really, really brutal. If we go first there, we attack that and kills. I think if we go first there, we actually win. But it is what it is. Here we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We have a couple good hits and a couple bad hits. That one's alright. And then... Given that we have so much toughness, I guess I want to back row this Sherwood Sure Shot. We haven't seen any characters that summon units, which is a bit unfortunate. But if we get like Princess Peep on turn 3 or something like that, that's where Geppetto really shines because it's just, you know... Princess Peep is a 3 metal 1-1 one, one that summons... Three four fours. Uh, three four fours is 12, so that's like 13 13. That's just ridiculous for three or gold or mana, or whatever. So, hopefully, we can win this one. It's possible I'm supposed to frontline the Sherwood, but I feel like with. Um, okay. That goes there, that goes there. Yeah, we. We do win this because we backline the Sherwood share shot. Nice, nice. Okay. Not dying and beating Fallen Angel is pretty good. Okay, what do we have here? Well, we have a free spell that will kill our Sherwood share shot unless we hit it with Good Witch of the North, which I might just do. We can do something like this. And then for the sake of just Filling out my board, I think I'm just going to put this dragon here. 3, 5, 2, 2, 4, 4 ranged. Um, again, normally I think the Sherwood Sure Shot would be better served in the back row, but just because I don't want it to die to Falling Stars, we're putting it in the front row for now. And I guess I'm going to want good units anyway to go with Good Wish of the North. So this feels okay. This is a really, really big happy little tree though. He's <laughs> he's getting thick. I don't know how long we're gonna keep him for, but we'll see. We're probably gonna lose to pants. Oh, never mind. That was excellent. That goes there, the 4-9 goes there. Perfect. Wow, beating pants this early is a good sign. Let's get Princess Peep, shall we? There's a dragon. Turn an evil character good and give it extra health. Not amazing. I think I just roll. Princess Peep. Awesome. So let's take Peep. Um, that here. I can take Mad Mim and just make it absolutely enormous. I think at this point, Mad Mim is probably better than Baby Root. 
And mostly I just want to cast this spell. So I can... Sell Baby Root. Make this into an 07. And... Um, what do I do now? I have the Ranger first. We want Princess Peep to die last. So then she can, like, fill out these slots. Uh, I wonder if there's something like this that I'm supposed to do. Because we don't really need toughness on the Sherwood, and keeping Princess Peep alive is okay. I'm a little bit skeptical of PB Dragon in that position. But I think I like this a bit better. It puts more attack on the happy little tree as well. So like it's a 7-9 instead of a 5-12 or whatever it was. And it does matter. Yeah, and now she survives, which then frees up room. Okay, this actually... No. <laughs> oh, they didn't even kill my mad mim. Oh, that's excellent. And these should be really big sheeps. Yeah. Go get him, Geppetto. And now we're looking for Fairy Godmother. Is the next thing. I guess that'd be at the next level. So we are going to get a treasure. Um, I don't really want to keep Mad Mims. I think I'm just going to cast this on the tree. Rune Star is Dark Contract, Ring of Meteors. I guess I'll take Rune Stones. That, that has a chance of like being substantially good for me. So I can take this. I can speculate on Blind Mice. I generally don't love doing that, though. There's another Sherwood... These heroes have not been great, but we do have Princess Peep, so, like, <laughs> she is good. I can take Romeo now. Um, I could also, like, lock for a Turkish Delight, but... I mean, Romeo is just better than this dragon. And with Juliet, there is some stuff we can do with Geppetto. So, I could also save this for until I hit level 4, because I feel like I'm, like, reasonably strong. Just gonna roll. Oh, that one's okay. I think I'm gonna again. I'm just gonna wait. We're like as soon as we get a fairy godmother, we're just gonna replace the good witch of the north anyway. Um why is everything upgraded? <laughs> Not great, but we Oh my gosh, this is one of the strongest boards I've ever seen this early. They got a level six treasure monkey's paw. That's Unreal how strong their board is. Wow. That is one of the biggest high rolls I've ever seen. They just must have hit like every single thing on curve right when they wanted it. So we'll take Sheep and Wolf's Clothing because that works well with Geppetto. Um, I could try and True Love's Kiss into a level 5. Just buy like Princess P and then go for it. Princess P could be better than Happy Little Tree. She's going to get plus 8 plus 8. Um, Arthur also does buff Cinderella for minor value. I think I'm going to buy this. 713 versus 1715. She's bigger for now. This is 210. Is a 510 or a 51 ranged better? I think we're going to go for a level 5 on Princess P. If we hit, like, the baby bear, it's just going to be huge. Okay, well, 13, 10, 7, 13. Uh, I guess I can do it like this. And 10, 10 is actually more stats, I think. Okay, dragon hitting that is fine. We kill the Grim Soul, so Vampire gets bigger. This works out, I think. Uh, that dying doesn't work out so well. I might still lose. Yeah, with that attack we lose. That's unfortunate. I think if we hit the other side, we could be in good shape. But that, 
that one wonder waddle just did like a bajillion damage to us and there's not a whole lot we could have really done to prevent that i've just i've never seen anyone high roll that hard before okay we can give attack to something i mean princess peep we like a lot um at this point i don't know if i really love Mad Men. So we're looking for some improvements there. There are Puff Puffs. Um, that is something to keep in mind. There's also Heartwood Elder. We can start buffing up Happy Little Tree. Hmm. Also, Friendly Spirit is going to become a 5-something. This is kind of tough. So I think I do want to run this guy. I like this guy because he's big. I think Friendly Spirit has got to be decent here. And we can sell the Ranger to just cast a spell. Um, the only one I'm not super certain about is this Happy Little Tree. It's kind of... A 415 is fine, I guess. But it's something I would definitely like to replace as soon as we can. Killing their thing is great, though. We get two sheep, which are four fours and a six seven. She dies, and then we get more sheep. And they don't have Juliet, too, which is good. I think we should win this. Of course, the uh, the friendly spirit waited until the back row guy died to do anything, but we do win. Yeah, it's basically Wonder Waddle is high rolling, and then everyone who played against Wonder Waddle is just at very low health because they're hitting everyone for like fifteen. Because I've just never seen anyone high roll that hard before. Okay, we can take another good witch. If I triple it, it would be quite nice. Uh, Sporko's interesting. I mean, Sporko's better than Mad Mim, so I can sell Mad Mim and grab a Sporko. We can see what else happens here. Uh, Court Wizard, I think I like. He's okay. I mean, we're really looking for a Fairy Godmother, and it's kind of ridiculous we haven't found one. Okay, there's the, the thing. So let's triple the Good Witch. We get a level 4 quest. Sky Castle buffs up Princess Peep. This is not a Prince or Princess. Deck of many things helps us stay alive a little bit, and then Gloves of Thieving is also quite good. Um, I think I'm going to go with Deck of Many Things, and honestly, I'm feeling like... I want to do something like this. In fact, maybe I should switch the two good units, I'm not sure. Wow, there's two dwarf players? Uh oh. But they just recently knighted Princess White, I think. Because she's not that big. We're really missing out on our um, animal triggers, though. I think we're losing this. Yeah, we're definitely losing this, but we only lose seven health, so we go to three. Everyone is getting stomped. It's I've never seen someone that high before. Okay, we hit level five. Yeah, Fallen Angel just got stomped. Um, we can take some Hungry Hungry Hippocampus. He is okay, but I think we have some things to roll into. There's the black cats we're looking for. Uh, Southern Siren's all right. Right at level 5, the mummy could be good. The problem is a lot of the characters I'm playing against have, like, just ridiculous amounts of toughness. So it doesn't matter that much. We could Masquerade Ball and try and hit level 6s. The Green Knight's pretty good. He's just huge. So I'll take that. Um, we can do this. A 111 sheep. 
719 friendly spirit and then some really big princess peeps. This feels pretty good. At that point, maybe I'm better off running a 1020 neon. I think I do actually like that. And I guess we'll keep it like this for now. I don't know. If I lose, I lose. That's unfortunate. And they hit a Jormungand. Oh, Jormungand is so good against my squad. I don't think I'm winning. The problem is he just kills everything in one hit. And then he's just going to get plus 20 plus 20 unless I get to attack him. Attack Jormungand. No. No. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. He's going to solo my team. Yeah, we had a shot until they got Jormungand. Man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we, we lost basically like two fights this round. <laughs> we died completely from those. It was like three losses. We're going to run again, though. So that breaks the win streak or whatever I talked about in the beginning, but that's fine. All right, let's do this a bit better. We could take Wonder Waddle and try and repeat what happened. That felt like a one in a million type high roll, though. It was like turn three they had <laughs> a fully upgraded team with Monkey's Paw. Uh, that being said, I do like Wonder Waddle. It's been a while since I've played the hero. So I will take it, and this is a pretty good squad. We're going to Poliwoggle, and then we're going to lock. Next turn, we can take Mad Mim plus, like, Magic Research Polywoggle. Um, even, I like buying chicken as Wonder Waddle because you spend two gold, or four gold to buy two chickens and triple them. Um, and then you can sell them for four gold and you can skip for two gold. So it's a net two gold every single time you double a chicken. And they let you uh, store your gold. So you can save up four gold at a time, you know, for future turns. If I had known I was playing against Peter Pants, maybe I wouldn't have gone for that gambit but i think it's fine right now we get to go like this and i guess do i want to buff up mad men yeah i do then i'm gonna actually i don't really want to lock for the chicken we're just looking for more polyboggles and things all right just let me attack first uh okay <laughs> And that's why we buffed up Mad Men. Wow, that would have been absolutely disastrous. Ooh, Spellweaver. That's a fairly good one. Um, now we can take another Polywoggle. And a Blind Mouse. I don't know how to do this. 5-2 versus 4-3. I guess this is a little bit better. Um, I would like to cast Sugar and Spice, but I just don't have the gold for it. And I think... Actually, maybe I don't want Polly to slay this round. So I'm going to put him in the back. We want Polly to slay on turn 3. Because getting a 3 cost right now isn't huge. Getting a 4 cost next turn will be huge. Well... Okay. Or <laughs> everything could be disaster. <laughs> That's also a possibility. That's the nature of this game, right? It's high variance. So even if we were dominating a couple times in a row, it, like there's no guarantee that's going to continue. Well, Princess Peep is quite good with Mad Men. So we want to... How are we doing this? Something like this. I think I want to scoot all of these over. And then have the Sherwood Sure Shot, or I could just cast a spell and buff up my Spell Weaver. I think in the short term, having an extra character will be better. So, our position's not that great. We are in last place. But with Wonder Waddle, you know, if we triple the Blind Mouse and stuff, there is like a chance for us to go big. They just ruin our Polywoggling. Okay, okay. Polywoggle gets there. They get to Polywoggle as well? No. Nice. That goes there. She... Um... There is a world in which we... 
Nope, never mind. I was gonna say, if we had kept attacking this thing, like, maybe there was a world we could do something. This dragon's alright. That's just a free killer backline. If I have toughness boosters, or, like, I find the mermaid, then I could see the, the dragon being good. But as it stands, I don't think so. Uh, there's a toughness booster, and I kind of like it. There's a 4-6. Ooh, kidnap? Plus lightning dragon is tempting. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll cast this spell. There's another spell weaver. It's ridiculous not hitting any triples with, uh... <laughs> Um, Wonder Waddle, but sometimes it just happens. So I can lock here. But I think I'm just rolling for tripling animals. That This is none of that. Um, I think maybe I'm supposed to roll. Or not roll, but like revamp my comp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well we get to kill that and Mad Men. So it's not the end of the world. That goes there, then this attacks their 1-1? One, one? No. This kills that, and that goes there. Okay, we do win the fight, but barely. I will take Polywoggle. I'll take another Spellweaver. And I guess at this point I'll just take a Kidnap. So that's a 6-6. Six, six. This is now a 2-3, which is better than the Sherwood Sure Shot. Um, the Blind Mouse is pretty medium as well. So I want this to attack first. So I want my squad to look something like this. But the problem with this is now I have like this weird open slot one. Like putting this here is not good. But I want the dragon to get toughness. So I think I think I do have to go like this. 9-5 is probably fine. We put this here. I guess I'll just put a polywoggle here and then put this guy in the back row. That feels okay. I feel like 9-5 should be big enough to kill that Dracula's things. I could also put Lightning Dragon back here, but I do want it to survive its first attack, because generally hitting the back row of Sadrak is, like, good. Um, you can kill their, like, Shadow Assassins or whatnot. That seems good. The 15-6 uh, the is big. That's a bit scary. I think I'm definitely losing this fight. Yeah, especially with that suiciding there. That goes there. Well... Oh, right, they get... Oh, that's right, the new said Drac is completely ridiculous. I don't like that change at all. <laughs> they just get one absolutely massive unit. Okay, so we can go... We can get Sporko, which I like just more than Mad Men, substantially. I will buy the gold. Um, that buffs both my spell weavers. Then... I haven't gotten any benefits from my Wonder Waddle. <laughs> uh, we can keep rolling. There we go. That's a benefit. Runestones, Crown of Atlas, Locked Chest. Uh, uh, the animal buff is quite decent with Princess Peep. Peep. Uh, Runestones is also fairly strong because, you know, we're somewhat likely to hit a treasure at some point. That would be level 4. It's going to get up to level 5. I think I'm going to take the Crown of Atlas, because we are... We need a little bit of a buff. We're not the strongest. There's the Mermaid. Uh, we can sell Fanny. And the Ranger. And this guy, just get the Mermaid. And I'm just going to hope that Polywoggle actually slays here. <laughs> Get a little bit greedy, but you know, this attacks first. Then hopefully Polywoggle gets to attack.
Of course they kill my sheep, but I do kill their support and poly slays. Okay, so even if I die here, I have a level 5. I'm taking so much damage though. Okay, okay. But, all that being said, we have an upgraded Southern Siren. So, <laughs> that's fairly decent, I've heard. That's so good at this level. Um, what are we doing? We're level 4. We're looking to triple anything, really. There's a spell. I mean, I guess I might as well. We have a bigger pig. This princess peep is kind of weird. The spell weaver's like location is kind of weird. I don't even know if I need this river wish mermaid anymore. But we could just start going off with this giant southern siren and just like make that our game plan, which I don't hate. Uh, I guess I'll buy the cats. Nothing here. Another Sporko. Um, let's see. So, six three versus ten three. I mean, this dragon is not going to be long for this world. Do I care about Sporko or like the end? I could give up on the blind mouse. I think I'm just gonna buy this and lock. And keep the, the squad as weird as it is how it is right now. Please don't attack this. Okay. We kill Princess Peep, that's fine. That goes there. So the rate this is going, I should be able to attack with my Southern Siren before they get to kill her. Yeah, and I get two of those. Oh no! <laughs> my scam cat scammed me. I should have two 1717s. Well, my opponent got lucky. But that's okay. So we are going to the end this madman. Grab a Sporko, because we could be in mages as well. I, It's crazy, I haven't seen it. I probably should have taken Copycat, because I, I guess that doesn't even work with Wonderwaddle. So, never mind. There's another mermaid. But I don't, I don't even know if the mermaid is like a thing I should be doing. I can just like do this or something. And this makes like maximizes the princess peep value and then the dragon can just snipe but it doesn't slay. Uh baby bear is better than princess peep for sure. Uh true love's kiss on southern siren is interesting. I think I might be interested in this. Baby Bear is also probably better than Lightning Dragon given my current squad. So something like this I'm also probably okay with. The problem with this is my squad is too strong so I didn't get any uh, stuff. I think actually back row Southern Siren maybe should be what I'm doing. Like Swap it with the spell weaver so that way when she slays, she's very likely to get two things. So yeah, I think I'm gonna transform this dragon. That's decent actually. Grab baby bear. So I think we're playing this back row. Could do something like this. It's going to be hard to get Lance up to 25. But if I get any like attack boost, I could see him being good. I'm kind of worried about these Sporkos. Basically the question is, do I want this baby bear? 
I think it's pretty good. With Sporko plus five attack, this is like seven plus seven plus. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, we'll take Baby Bear, put it here. This one has slightly more attack. So I can even do this, maybe 1510, just give him a chance to slay. Um, Baba Yaga. Don't need. I think I'm just looking to triple anything. But <laughs> alas, oh, I could take Polywoggle over. I don't have good things to sell. So I guess I'm not. Yeah, so I guess we're pretty much just kind of going in on baby bears and stuff with attack boost. <laughs> of course, they just snipe my lance. I don't get any slays. Wait, they did, they got a Berenstein off your... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I've like never seen anything good come off of the uh, Wombats in Disguise, but they're playing Geppetto and got a Berenstein. <laughs> that's funny. Um, we still could be in good shape. We just need to... Oh my gosh, that donkey... Okay, we steal their biggest thing. We get two 30-30s. Which could do it. As long as we don't hit the donkey with Sporko. Okay, that went there. I think we actually do win this fight. Nice. All thanks to the power of Southern Siren. Okay, what are we doing now? That's a guaranteed level 5 treasure. So I will take that. Um, these spell books are also quite tempting. They're quite good with these spell weavers. I could also just take Neon and go for like another level 5 treasure and just try and float this turn. I don't know if I love doing that. I don't know what the squad is supposed to be doing. It's just really weird when you don't triple anything. You don't get any, like, input. I'm going to take... I'm just going to roll. There we go. Bad Moon, Ancient Sarcophagus, Merlin's Hat. I like Merlin's Hat. We'll take that. I can take the chicken, because you can triple them with... Uh, that's a level 3 treasure. Eye of Aries? I like Eye of Aries on this comp. Okay. Now we're looking fairly strong, actually. Suddenly. They sniped our bear, we don't care that much. Oh, hate to see that happen, but we just have so much attack that, like, we don't care that they have toughness. And the Southern Siren, unless we attack specifically Snow White, is pretty much guaranteed to do something cool. Okay, well, never mind. Six, six. Oh, we lose by one? Oh my gosh. Well, that was about as bad as it could have gone. But we get a level 5 treasure. Harvest Moon, Dracula Saber, Tree of Life. We're about to hit level 4 as well. So we're going to get rid of the uh, Crown of Atlas, I think. I think this is probably a Dracula Saber comp. And now we finally triple this after we get all the treasures. Ring of Rage, Coin of Sharon, Dwarven Forge. I could run Ring of Rage instead of Eye of Ares, but they're playing Sad Drax, so their attack is just going to be so high. I think I'm just going to skip and try and hit some good level 6s. We could take some trees, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Give me a good level 6. Okay, we, I guess we're going into spells. Um, I wish I had those two monster books. Doom Breath. That's a good one as well. Right. 
Is it 26? Then we could sell these to get another baby bear. I think baby bear is better than that one. I can put the Storm King there. Doom Breath can go first. Yeah, early Doom Breath against Drax should be okay, I think. Oh. <laughs> nice. That dies. They get an extra slay on their thing. Just don't attack. Oh, I lose. I died. No, <laughs> come on. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, sometimes you doom breath hit their whole back row, but new sad Dracula just takes it down. Oh, we were so close to doing cool stuff. Upgraded Storm King with Merlin's hat. Oh, man. Oh, well. Thank you guys for watching. This was fun. Very frustrating. But uh, I think, you know, getting fifth place isn't so bad. See you guys next time.